Hi there, this is Ron Wade with IDT, and we're going to talk about separate reference independent spread today, which is the latest PCI Express clocking architecture. So let's uh, jump right in and define it and, and see what the implications are. So we have a CPU block here, and we have our IO storage block here. And in this case, they're both being clocked by a spreading clock source, two separate spreading clock sources, and we have the PCI link between them. So the whole idea of uh, doing this is to keep from having to send a clock over this, let's say it's a cable, keep from sending a clock over the cable, uh, like you have to do today. So what are the implications of this? Uh, one is uh, you don't have to send a clock over the cable when, when you have an SRIS system, but there's some other, other things to take into account too. The first is uh, the minimum PPM on a spreading clock is minus 5300 per the PCI SIG. The maximum is plus 300 PPM. And in this situation, this clock could be at minus 53, this could be at 300. What that means is that this link here has to, um, the controllers have to number one, know they're in SRIS mode, and then uh, insert what's called a skip order set or dummy data into the link. When you do that, you're gonna lose from one to 3% of your performance. And the second issue here is there's no mechanism today for the, the uh, ends of the link to know that they need to be in SRIS mode to insert those skip order sets. So there's no mechanism to say, hey, SRIS mode, please. So the second um, item, or the next item, is that uh, besides the, the difference in jitter performance between the transmitter and the receiver, and the difference between the jitter of the clock uh, over here and the clock over here, now we have two separate spreads to take into account. And I've drawn the uh, frequency harmonics of the you know, 32 kilohertz the odd harmonics here. Uh, so these have to be taken into account. So there's a, a difference of the spreads also has to be noted. So it's much more stringent to have a clock that meets this requirement than the other architectures that were discussed. So the specifications are not final um, from the PCI SIG on what a clock has to do to meet those requirements. Uh, based on early indicators, we believe that we have clocks that are SRIS compatible today, and we can talk um, with you much more about that one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So that's a high-level overview of SRIS, a couple of system architecture issues that you have to look out for. And if you have any questions, you can email me at ron.wade at idt.com. Thanks.